Hello, it's me, Shantae from Stitching Hearts Embroidery. I'm back tonight with a quick tutorial on using TTF fonts in your Embrilliant software. So I made a quick panel tonight. I say a quick panel because I stitched this panel out to use on a project for this coming weekend. And I just wanted to have some of the prep work already done. I don't know if you can see this good, but it is heat transfer vinyl or glitter heat transfer vinyl with a satin stitch and a top stitch around it. So I did not have a BX font for that or I didn't purchase a font. And I just wanted, I knew already that I wanted a word with a heart in it. And so I went to my true type fonts. True type fonts are those system fonts that are on your computer. Would it, the fonts that you might use if you were typing out like a Word document or in some other programs, you see them listed under system fonts. And so first of all, let's go. I know that I got this font from Creative Fabrica. I did not get it today. It was already on my computer. And I'll show you how you find those system fonts within Embrilliance in just one moment. Let's go over to Creative Fabrica. And here it is. It's called Kai, K-A-I, Kai Love. And so at some point um, months ago or at some other time, I downloaded that font and did the extraction or install whatever the steps are to get that font into my computer as a system font. And so tonight, when I wanted to use a font, I start off here. This is our regular select tool. I'm using Stitch Artist 1 and in Brilliance. And I went over to Create. And once I hit this Create button, if you look over here, this TT button pops up. So I turned it off and you don't see the true type button. I turned create on and there it is. It's true type TT for true type font. I'm going to click that and a box pops up. Now this already has my Kai Love font showing because it'll save or remember whichever font you used last and that's what I used earlier. So the, your true type or your system fonts are listed in here in alphabetical order. And so in this text box, I'm going to use my keyboard and type M-O-M -M for mom. And then it gives you a sample of what that'll look like. Now, if I wanted to use something different, I could try that. You know, I could go down the line and try some of the other ones. So tonight, we are just doing a um, applique design, which is the easiest thing to do when you're working with true type fonts and in brilliance. So there are ways that you can also add a satin stitch or a um, fill stitch, but you need a little more practice and a little more information to sometimes make those other um, stitch types work. But for a true type font, I mean, for a applique font or your an applique design, it's usually pretty easy. So let's, there it is. It's Kai Love and then the word mom. I'm going to push OK and it shows up. Over here in the objects panel, it shows M-O-N, each one of those letters as a separate object. I'm going to make it larger. I know this is my 7 by 11 hoop that's showing here in the screen. And I know that I want this to be pretty large. So there you go. Um, that's it. I'm going to zoom in by using the scroll on my mouse and I'm going to click on, and now I'm going to hold down the space bar and the left mouse button and pan over and click on my first object. I just want to see what the nodes look like, what this font came in here looking like? Like how hard is it going to be to work with? Are there any breaks in this? And it looks pretty good. There's only a couple of nodes. This is, you know, really good. This looks like it might even work well, um, pretty easy to put another kind of um, stitch to it. 
Uh, the O looks good. I don't see any breaks in it. I don't see any funny nodes or any, you know, different kind of lines. Everything looks good. So I've checked it out. It looks good. I'm going to go to my first object, which is the first letter M, and I'm going to make that a run stitch. Over here in my properties panel, I see it says bean stitch. I just want a single run. This first stitch is for each one of these letters is just going to be my placement line. And so there you go. I did the O and now I'm making the M. And so I need to go back to the O and change that to a single run stitch. And this M, look at, I just now noticed. Oh no, they're the same. I was going to say that my M's look different. I don't know why I just saw that different. <laughs> Forget that I said that. <laughs> Maybe because I had it highlighted, it looked like one of the legs of the M was different. So there you go. So I have my first stitch assigned to this word mom. That is, That would, if I sent this to my machine right now, it would give me a single run stitch for the word mom. So for my design, I used Glitter HTV. Glitter HTV, heat transfer vinyl. You know, you can use Caesar or um, Cricut or any of the store brands, glitter vinyl. And I needed to peel this plastic part off. And then I'm going to use this vinyl like a piece of material, like cotton. Um, I'm going to stitch this out on my denim material stitch out the word mom it's giving me a placement stitch it's going to tell me where to place how big of a piece of vinyl i need so next i needed to i wanted to tack down my vinyl if i was using cotton or any other material or um leather or some other kind of material, I would need a tack down stitch so that then I could cut around each letter, right? So I'm going to go up here to copy and paste. And so I have a second set of those same letters. So I'm gonna change the color of that set just so that I can distinguish them and so that it won't run on my machine and just stitch it all in one go. So I change that to green. And so once this is at my machine, this is where I would lay my vinyl or my fabric down and run this placement stitch. Now I need to do the same thing again because I want a satin border. So I'm going to copy. And if you see, I went up here for copy paste. I can also, once this is chosen, once the um, objects are chosen, I can go to or select it. I can use my right mouse button and then click copy and then right mouse, right mouse button and click paste. So that gave me another mom. But this time I want those letters to be a satin stitch. So right up here in your stitch, stitch types, that is a satin stitch. We're going to go over here to properties, change the color to a teal and also it's a, a width of 3.8, and that works for me for this. And that is all. That is the design. I have a, um, if you look up here in my objects panel, I have a placement stitch, a tack down stitch, and then the final stitch. So when you're using Glitter HTV, once it um, runs that final satin stitch then you just peel the extra or the relief the 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 throwaway part of the vinyl off there was no cutting involved with this i peeled that off i don't know if you can tell but i have a top stitch yep you can see it maybe right there there is a top stitch another stitch a finishing stitch on top of my um satin stitch you can do that or you can leave it off for this design. I just wanted it. You can either put a, you can also 
put a top stitch and have it the same color as your satin stitch. That's the super easy way because you just go back over here to properties and right down here at the bottom it says top stitch. So that would give you another stitch. Can you see that? You can kind of see it right in there. So it gives you just a finishing stitch on top. And that's what I did for this design. I would now do um, file, save a stitch in working, and send this design right over to my machine. And I'm going to call it Mom Art 3 because I had to film this three times because I'm going through how to YouTube pains right now. And I didn't do it right the first time. I missed the sound on one and something else on the other. Just being transparent here, I am figuring this thing out as I go. So be kind and be patient. Like my video if you like it, if it was useful to you. And subscribe, turn on notifications so that when I do the next quick tips, easy digitizing, stitch editing video for In Brilliance, then you will get a notification. Um, that is it for tonight. I will see you guys again soon. Bye.